Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I'm going to be doing your money, wealth, finance, prosperity, and abundance reading for the month of March 2020. Uh, before I get started, I just want to say thank you all for your well wishes and your positive healing energy for when I was sick. Uh, I just want to say I really appreciate it, and it really did uh, brighten my day as I was uh, recovering from uh, being sick. So I do want to say thank you so much for that. So for the readings this month, I will be using my Trip and Wait Tarot deck. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. And then Capricorn, I will close out your reading with an Angels and Ancestors Oracle card. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of March 2020. What do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? Now, if this is your first time catching one of my readings, uh, you will notice that I read jumper cards. Uh, those are cards that sometimes will literally fly out of the deck or sometimes they will flip over during a shuffle. And those are the cards that I do choose to read because I believe that they have a very specific message. I'm feeling that one needs to come out. So what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of March 2020. So what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? All right, let me make sure nothing is cut off here. All right, Capricorn. You're definitely going through, I want to say like a... It's like you're, you're coming into a new awareness and you're also kind of going through maybe some type of an emotional purge uh, in this first week of March. Now, it's interesting because sometimes in order to get our money game right, we need to get our mindset and our emotions right too. And I feel like for you, Capricorn, that's what's going on or will be going on in that first week of March. It's almost like you just kind of go through this awareness, this new mindset shift, um, this kind of releasing of old emotions and maybe some old habits that could have been holding you back and maybe could have been preventing you from uh, pursuing your financial dreams in the way that you had want to or, or in a way that you would like to. So let's start off here with the Knight of Cups in the upright position. We also have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Page of Cups also reverse. Wheel of Fortune, King of Cups reverse, and then the High Priestess card in the upright position. Now I see this card and that tells me that you are really tapped in, tuned on, connected to your intuitive nature and your own you know, spiritual or intuitive abilities. And that's very exciting because sometimes when you are led intuitively, it really puts you on the path of achieving what you want in a much more profound and less stressful way. But let's start here with the Knight of Cups in the upright position. Now, the Knight of Cups means that you are getting some type of support. There is backup, so to speak. There is someone uh, showing up for you in a way that is supportive. And sometimes it may not necessarily be a person. It could be several people or it could just be um, a decision or something that is 
uh, kind of happening for you in the background that is very much supporting you um, in your goals and in the direction that you're trying to go. Now, the good thing is, is we see this 10 of swords in the reverse position. This tells me that, you know, you may have gone through something very emotionally painful or maybe something that was even shocking in some way. But you know what? You're healing from that. The worst is over. You have accepted the situation for what it is. You've taken the nuggets of knowledge and wisdom from that situation. And now you're moving forward and you're using this situation as your own uh, kind of personal healing tool and it's not affecting you in a negative way anymore. Now we have the Page of Cups in the reverse position. This means there's going to be um, some type of news uh, message or even an offer made to you and it may not be something that you're interested in at this time. It's not necessarily bad news but it's just something that you're like eh maybe this is not something I want to do or maybe this is not something I want to pursue just right now and so you're kind of just uh, seeing what shows up but you may not necessarily be ready to make a move or make a decision at this time. Now, the good thing is, is you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is showing up in that first week of March, Capricorn. That's a very lucky card. You may be experiencing some unexpected strokes of good luck in that first week of March, and that's very exciting. You're probably going to be in the right place at the right time, or you're gonna run into the right person who definitely can make things happen for you. And the other good thing is that you may be um, kind of like really just feeling like you're in your flow, really feeling like you're really uh, just kind of on the right path. You're going to be seeing synchronicities uh, probably quite a bit this first week of March of, you know, just really getting confirmation that you're going in the right direction. Things are happening for you, Capricorn, in the way that you want, or you're starting to see signs, you know, positive signs and get positive feedback that things are definitely going to be happening in a good way. Now, we also have the King of Cups here in the reverse position. You just have to remember not to be too overly emotional when it comes to certain things in your life because sometimes our emotions can get the best of us and they can interfere with our decision-making abilities or they could inter our emotions could interfere with our, our plan that we made for ourselves, especially as it relates to our money. I know a lot of people uh, connect their emotions to money, and so you have to be really careful that you don't get too overly emotional when it concerns your finances or work or your career or your business. And we already talked about the high priestess here. This is all about um, an intuitive um really an intuitive enlightenment that you're going to be going through the first week of March Capricorn. Now, the other thing is too, is that you already are a highly intuitive, uh, sensitive person. Okay. You really kind of have your own intuitive abilities, uh, maybe even some psychic abilities for some of you. And that's very powerful because those, um, those abilities and those, um, you know, that, that um, talent or that skill probably will definitely be something very profound for you in the month of March. You're just going to have to really be comfortable with trusting yourself and trusting your own um, inner guidance and your own inner wisdom, especially as we move throughout the month of March. All right, so what else do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of March 2020, what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? Capricorn. 
Okay, so as we move into that second week of March, that's going to be a very interesting time for you, Capricorn. We've got the moon card upright, the empress reversed, then we have the five of swords and the devil in the upright position, and then we have the six of cups in the reverse. This moon card tells me, uh, Capricorn, be very careful when you're making financial decisions in the second week or in the second half of March, only because there's something that's not quite revealed just yet. I don't want to say something's being deliberately hidden from you, but there is some information that you just don't know. There is something that is not, um, it's like you don't have all the information or you don't have uh, all the knowledge or you're not seeing the full picture. Okay. So just look at this as a heads up because usually when the moon shows up in the upright position, it tells me that there is information yet to be revealed. Okay. Now this is very important, especially as it relates to your work and to your money. So don't make any big serious decisions because like I said, there's more information forthcoming or like I said, you're not seeing the whole full entire picture. Now we have the Empress here in the reverse position. This means that there is some type of a creative project that is probably just going to be put on hold. Um, it means that something has been planted, but it's not yet growing. It's not yet uh, progressing at the way that you would like. Or it could just mean literally something is on hold or something is being stopped for whatever reason. Usually this is not anything within your control. However, you just want to be very, very careful. And because this fell next to this moon card, I'm getting the sense that... Um, you putting things on hold is definitely a wise decision because you're going to be getting some more information as things progress and as things, you know, as time moves on, you're going to definitely get some more information and you'll be able to make a much better decision later on down the line. Now we have the five of swords here. This means that there could be um, you trying to it's it's like you're going to be having some type of a conversation or some type of a, I don't want to say a disagreement, but I, I will say a discussion of some sort where it's almost like you're feeling like you have to prove yourself. Now, whether or not you actually do is something that you're going to have to judge for yourself, but just know that there are people in your circle, especially as it relates to your professional life who kind of make you feel like you have to prove something. Now, you may feel that way, but you may not necessarily need to feel that way, depending on the circumstance or the situation. Now, we have the devil card here in the upright position. The devil card is all about unhealthy attachments. So you may want to kind of examine things in your life, Capricorn, and see, are you, you know, holding on to something that you need to let go of? You know, um, it could be a bad habit. Sometimes it's addictions. Sometimes it's literally um, feeling like you're bond, you're in bondage to something or someone. So you know, that's probably going to come into your awareness in that second week of March when you realize, you know, this is just not a good situation, especially you know, as it relates to my financial life. You know, is there, you know, something that you are holding on to that you need to really release? Is there a bad habit that um, is, you know, preventing you from making the kind of money that you want to make? You know, you're going to have to do some self-reflection in that second week of March and really figure out what this is that's holding you back. Now we also have the Six of Cups here. This is a very adorable card. <laughs> uh, when I see it in the reverse position, it just tells me that, you know, there could be some things from your past that are showing up again. And it may not necessarily be anything, um, anything that you really consider useful, but sometimes it's just things show up from our past and they affect us today. It could be a person from your past that maybe you don't necessarily have fond memories of, or it could be something from your past that kind of resurfaces and you're like, oh, this again. You know, it's not necessarily anything horrible, but sometimes it's just a little um, reminder of something from our past that we thought, you know, was long and gone, <laughs> dead and buried, but for whatever reason, it's showing up again. 
All right, so let's go ahead and clarify some more for you, Capricorn. So what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of March 2020. What do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? Okay. All right, Capricorn. So as we move into that third week of March, you've got some new things starting here. I want to make sure. Okay, nobody's cut off. All right, so uh, as we move into that third week of March, we have the Page of Swords. This is like a new something coming up. Now, because we're talking about money, finances, and all that stuff, um, there is going to be a new opportunity presented to you. However, there is going to be um, an opportunity showing up for you, but it's going to be at the expense of something else because the swords are all about cutting away, releasing, uh, eliminating things that are not necessary. So you could be getting a new job offer. However, you're going to have to quit your current job in order to, to accept it. Or it could be maybe a new business opportunity, but you're going to have to let something go in order to pursue that new opportunity, okay? And it's going to be positive because this is in the upright position. So it's going to be something that definitely, you know, lights you up and really... Um, you know, excites you. However, you are going to have to release something in order to pursue this new opportunity. Now, we also have the Nine of Swords here. And this is another card that sometimes can be challenging just because you're going to be feeling like you've got a lot going on and you may be worrying about some things or some things may be taking an emotional toll on you. Um, sometimes it also means that you literally are having nightmares about something. So, you know, whatever it is, uh, really pay attention to your emotional and your mental health as we move towards that second week of March, Capricorn. I mean, that's something we should be paying attention to all the time, really. But you want to make sure you just don't let um, certain things get the best of you, especially during this time. Now, this is another great card here, too. We have the Six of Pentacles, meaning you're going to be feeling really confident and you're going to be feeling really comfortable in your money situation. So much so that you allow yourself to be a little bit more generous than you normally would. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you're also going to be feeling like you can, you know, you can help others in a financial way or you can support others in a financial way. Now, sometimes that means literally, you know, giving someone money, but it can also mean that, you know, you're generous with your time or your resources or your advice. Now, we have the Nine of Wands here. And we also have the Page of Pentacles. And then we have the Chariot card. The Nine of Wands is. Um, this is a card of sometimes feeling like you want to give up, okay? And I'm feeling like this is more of an emotional thing that's really affecting you money-wise, Capricorn. You may feel like you want to give up at some point, um, even though, you know, things are actually going well. Sometimes you just feel a little overwhelmed or you feel like you want to kind of take a break or take a step back. And that's totally fine, but just know that a lot of this is your own perception of it. It may not necessarily be the actual situation or circumstance, but you feel like, okay, I don't know if I can do this. Or you may feel insecure about something. Or you may feel like you just don't have the ability to do something. Or you feel like you've tried and tried and tried and nothing seems to be working. And so you're frustrated and you're ready you know, to give up or you're feeling a little bit discouraged. Just know that this is a temporary feeling. It will pass. You know, Because this is in the upright position, it, this tells me that this is something that is in your own awareness. And that this is something that you know... Um, you can work through and you don't have to necessarily settle for anything less than what you want. Now we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse position and then we have Chariot in the upright. Page of Pentacles means you are going to be getting uh, some news and information as it relates to your money. However, there will be a delay of some sort. Uh, you'll probably get this roughly in that third week of March. 
and you will also um, realize that you have to make some type of a decision as it relates to your money. You know, even though things kind of may be put on hold or delayed, it doesn't knock you off your game at all. You know, it's just probably more of a minor inconvenience. And I say that because it's right next to this chariot card and the chariot is all about things progressing and moving forward. You know, it means that things are definitely flowing in the right direction. And also this card can also indicate speed too. So even though you may get news of something being delayed or being on hold, just know that overall the big picture, things are actually progressing for you quite nicely. All right, Capricorn, let's see what else we need to know for you. For the month of March, what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? As it relates to money, wealth, finances. Prosperity and abundance for the month of March 2020. I feel like I need one more card for you, Capricorn. Okay. All right, Capricorn. So as we close out the month of March, you are going to be really having a lot of uh, conversation, a lot of discussions. There's going to be a lot of people actually um, kind of showing up for you in that last week of March. Now we have the Five of Wands here, and then we have the Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Swords and the Six of Wands, all of them in the reverse position. Now I know a lot of you uh, tend to get worried when you see tons of reverse cards, but not every reversal is a negative. And sometimes these are more things that need to be brought to your awareness, and it doesn't necessarily mean um, a final outcome of something bad, okay? So I just wanna kind of, uh, I guess, clarify that for some of you. But I say um, that you're going to be having a lot of people around you because we have this five of wands here. And this is a card of like back and forth discussion. Uh, it could also mean a disagreement of some sort. Um, and I'm feeling like this is something work business related because it fell onto this page of swords here. There's going to be a lot of back and forth. There's going to be a lot of uh, discussion and there's going to be some, you know, heavy conversations uh, probably towards the end of March. And you know what, it's not going to be something that um, you really can totally control, but it is something where you do have an important role and that you're going to have to really kind of check yourself because you don't want to be um, negatively influenced by the opinions or the input of other people. Now, we also have the Knight of Swords here. The Knight of Swords is a swift moving energy, okay? He shows up in the reverse position. This is all about uh, something, uh, something that moved in quickly, but it moves away just as quickly. You know, so maybe someone made you an offer and then they change their mind and they say, oh, you know what, I'm going to withdraw that offer. It's something like that where things kind of happen fast, but then they unhappen just as fast. Now we have the Queen of Wands here next to the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords and the Six of Wands. The Queen of Wands is a very grounding energy. So you may feel a little um, unsettled or maybe a little um, disconnected temporarily as we move towards the end of March. Now the Queen of Wands though, she's also someone who is very, very stable. And when she shows up in the reverse position, it could mean that um, maybe you're just not feeling like totally in control of a situation to the degree that you would like. It could also mean that maybe you're just kind of confused and maybe you're just trying to figure things out and trying to kind of piece things together, especially as it relates to your money. Now, we also have the Ace of Pentacles here. This tells me that a new project is on the horizon. However, there is going to be a slowdown in that new project to some degree. You know, and the good thing is, is that it's going to be something profitable, but it's just going to take longer than what you probably had anticipated. 
Now we also have the King of Swords in the reverse. This means, um, again, you have to really cut away certain things. You're going to have to let go of certain things in order to make room for the things you want. Now this is not news. I think this is something that you've been working on for quite a while, Capricorn. You're trying to figure out exactly what can you let go of in order to make room in your life for the things that you wholeheartedly want. It's like you want to embrace only the things that really make you happy and you want to eliminate things that just are not in tune or in alignment with where you are energetically right now. And that's really something that's very, um, it, it's really apparent now, especially in your money life or in your financial life or in your work life. You know, you're really getting clear on what it is that you just don't need and what it is that you do not want to experience anymore going forward. And finally, we have the Six of Wands here. This is a card of pageantry, of showing up. And for some reason, Capricorn, you're kind of holding yourself back a little bit. You know, you really have a lot of um, talents and abilities and skills that could really bring a lot of attention your way. But for some reason, you're just not allowing that to flow. And so this may be something that you kind of come into awareness for yourself because once you do kind of unleash you know, that um, freedom from within, it really can be something that really takes you to the next level, especially as it relates to your money. So I'm seeing this more as like kind of just a heads up Capricorn, you know, allow yourself to be seen, allow yourself to, you know, attract attention and allow yourself to be recognized because it will pay off for you in some way, shape or form. And it will definitely change your money situation for the better. So overall, Capricorn, you definitely have an interesting month. You've got some things going on probably in that second week of March that will definitely need your attention and will definitely be brought to your awareness. However, I do feel like March is going to be a period of spiritual and um, professional growth for you because there's lots of things that you're making decisions on and there's lots of areas where, you know, Money is there and it's just a matter of you making the decision to really tap into the flow of the financial wealth that you are working towards. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and end your reading with a Angels and Ancestors Oracle card. The card that we have is Broken Arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. And I feel like this actually really kind of sums up what we were talking about for your reading for March, Capricorn. You know, you really need to uh, tap into that energy of peace. And also know that you don't have to necessarily do everything and you don't have to force anything. You know, once you remain in that peaceful state, you will see that things do start to flow and ideas start to come to you and information starts to get downloaded into you, so to speak, so you can make better decisions and move forward in the direction of your financial goals. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. Also, if you're not subscribed, I do invite you to subscribe because I would love to do this reading again for you next month. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you again soon.